Huawei has no doubt taken a lot of hits over the past couple of weeks, taking each blow as a result of being put on a blacklist by the US that would bar them from dealing with their key partners. Well, it looks like they've been given a reprieve and everything looks like it's in the green for now, which is perfect for the next phone they've launched in the country. Hey Unbox fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019, a phone that's set to retail for less than 15,000 pesos. First things first, if you haven't seen the winners for the Xiaomi Mi A1 and the Redmi 5, we announced it on a separate video. Plus, there's still an ongoing giveaway for the Realme C2, so if you want a chance to win that entry-level smartphone, I'll leave a link in the description down below on how you can join that giveaway. Plus, to the announcement video as well. All right, let's get back to the Y9 Prime. John has already unboxed it for the article we have up on the website, but let's show you what comes in the box anyway, which is pretty much Huawei standard packaging. So aside from the device, you have the usual documents, a jelly case to give your device a bit of protection. You should always use protection, guys. The charger, a USB-C cable, and a pair of earphones. That's about it. All right, let's take a closer look at the Y9 Prime. Our review unit came in emerald green, a color variant that I remember seeing first on the Mate 20 series. Huawei has veered away from the gradient trend with this one, opting to give it a more dual-toned approach. It's a lot more subtle in terms of overall aesthetics, but it does make the phone attractive in its own way, and I kind of like it. You might have seen it already, but you have a physical fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone that's well-placed and easy to get to. It's still pretty common to see this on devices at this price point, and I still kind of prefer them over in-display ones, to be honest. You've also got a triple camera setup tucked on the upper left-hand side of the Y9 Prime. It's made up of a 16-megapixel main camera at f1.8, an 8-megapixel ultra-wide angle camera, plus a 2-megapixel depth sensor. We would have loved it if the third camera was a telephoto camera to make it a little bit more versatile. You've got the power button and volume rocker on the right side, Access to the SIM tray is up on top, along with a slot for one of the Y Prime's main highlights, the pop-up camera. And on the bottom, you have the USB-C port, flanked by a headphone jack and the speaker grill. Now, because you've got a pop-up camera on this phone, of course, you have an all-screen display that measures in at 6.59 inches. It's an IPS panel at Full HD Plus resolution, which is definitely good enough for all our needs. You will notice, though, that there is still a slight chin on this phone, but it isn't too bad at all. Honestly, it feels like I'm nitpicking considering the Y9 Prime's price bracket. Again, the absence of a notch is made possible by the phone's pop-up camera module, which houses a 16 megapixel front camera. We've only been able to take a handful of selfies so far, so I'll reserve judgment for the full review, but what do you guys think? So under the hood of the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 is a familiar SoC, the Kirin 710 or the Kirin 710F to be exact. What does the F mean? I honestly don't know. It's paired with 4GB of RAM and up to 128GB of storage, and based on our experience with devices rocking this particular processing package, it still has the own for both work and play, but we will be doing a separate gaming review for the Y9 Prime 2019 to give you guys more info if you should pick it up or not. Anyway, you've got a 4000 mAh battery on this device that should keep the lights on for quite some time, and it runs on Android Pie 9.0 with Huawei's very own EMUI on top of it. This retails for 12,990 pesos, and if this video got you interested enough to pre-order this phone, then Huawei will throw in a Bluetooth speaker for free. For more details about the Huawei Y9 Prime, head to unbox.ph. All the links will be down below. So that's pretty much it. Remember, we still have about a week until we draw the winner for the Realme C2 so you can join that giveaway. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace. God bless. And that's it. That's it. Hey Unbox fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. Is my audio working by the way? Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Remember, there's still time for you to join the giveaway for the Realme C2, about a week actually. So, again, links down below. You might as well subscribe. <laughs>